welcome students stay indoors stay safe today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic which we use in our daily life I hope you enjoyed the ballerina and must have guessed the topic also. Yes, the topic is 3D shapes. Now in our daily lives we can relate with 3D shapes. We see them, we use them. So let's learn more about it. Before we start, Let's understand the learning objectives. Students will be able to differentiate between 2D and 3D shapes. Students will be able to label the parts of a 3D shapes and identify basic 3D shapes. What prior knowledge do you have? You already have learned about different 2D shapes. Success criteria would be after watching this lesson you would have the knowledge to sort 2D shapes and 3D shapes. You will understand what are faces, edges and vertices of a 3D shape. You can identify basic 3D shapes. Oh, here we have two pictures. One is a CD and the other is a ball. Are they same? Oh, one more. A pizza slice and a pyramid. Why are they different? A paper and a box. Can you spot the difference? Let's try to find the answers by understanding the differences between a 2D and a 3D shape. Now here you can see a paper, a pizza slice and the CD images. What is same here? They all are 2D shapes. Why? Because they are flat. They have no height. What does this mean? That means I cannot store anything inside this. And they have only two dimensions. The length and the width. The width is also called the breadth. The length and the width. Let's look at the 3D shapes then. We have the box. We have the pyramid. And we have the ball. They all are solids. That means 3D shapes are solids. They also have the length and the width including the height. That means a 3D shape will have three dimensions. The length, the width and the height. 
the length, the width and the height. Now here are basic 2D shapes. The triangle, quadrilateral. Now this is basically a square. Okay. Quadrilateral means 4 sides. So a rectangle, parallelogram, they are also quadrilaterals. We have learned this. A pentagon. You can see this 5. What does this indicate? 5, 6, 10. They are the number of sides. This is a pentagon. That means it is 5 sided figure. A decagon. It has 10 sides. Octagon has 8 sides. Now these are few examples of 3D shapes. Cone, cube, cylinder, spear, pyramid, a rectangular prism. Which you also call as a cuboid. Now here is a Venn diagram to show the differences and the similarities of 2D shapes and 3D shapes. Now look at the similarities. They both have the length and the width. The differences are 2D shape has no height and 3D shape it has height. 2D shape is a flat figure whereas a 3D shape is a solid figure. The examples as we saw triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, octagon they all are 2D shapes. Cube, cone, cylinder, sphere, prism, pyramid, they all are 3D shapes. Now actually we can relate to these shapes, you know 3D shapes in our daily lives. When I talk about cube, I, I always play with rubric cube. So that is also, that is a cube, right? Cone, an ice cream cone, cylinder, your water bottle uh, or your gas cylinder. It is a cylinder. That's why we call it a cylinder. Spear, a ball, prism. Now there are different types of prism, rectangular prism, triangular prism. Uh, if uh, the basic uh, triangular, when, when we give an example of a triangular prism, uh, we give example of Toblerone, Toblerone chocolate, the shape of it. Pyramid, the uh, the very uh, fine example of pyramids are the uh, the Egypt pyramids. Uh, so that works, uh, that, that students remember very well. Now coming to the attributes of a 3D shape. Now what are attributes? When I say attributes, I mean the characteristics, the properties of a 3D shape. Now, can you see this yellow surface? That is called the face of a 3D shape. Now, this is one face. Okay, the faces are the shapes, surfaces. So, you can see this is the second phase, the red one. The blue surface, this is the third phase. So, these are called the faces of a 3D shape. Now, can you see these white lines? which run along the faces, they are called the edges. Now, they are line segments where the two faces meet. So, if you see this white line, which two faces are meeting over here? The red face and the yellow face. Now, if you consider this white line, you can see the blue face and the red face is meeting. And if you see this white line or white edge, uh, you can see the yellow face and the blue face meeting. So, basically, these white lines, they, uh, they denote the edges. They are called the edges. Oh, now look at these corners. They are called the vertices. When I say vertices, that is a plural form of vertex. Okay, so one corner is called the vertex. So when I have, and I'm showing you uh, other, uh, all the vert, 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 more than one vertex, and I call it as vertices. So vertices is a plural form of vertex. So basically. Uh, each 3D shape will have these three attributes, that is the face, the edge and the vertex. These are the verte vertices, you can see these corners. So faces are the shape surfaces, edges are the line segments where two faces meet and vertices are the places where the three or more edges are meeting. You can see three or more edges are meeting. So this corner is called the vertex. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you so much.